After most micrographic surgery, reconstruction surgery is required. Now with all surgical wounds that are performed uh, in a reconstructive process, it takes many months to heal. We always tell the patient it takes over a year, a year pardon me, to heal their reconstruction site. Typically their wounds gain strength at 10% per week, peaking at about eight weeks or two months. If the surgery is performed in an area that's under high strain like a leg and the patient's a runner, they have to be very careful about return to activity if they're worried about what the scar is going to look like when they're finished. So they have to be cautious in that way. Other things that we see is some bumpiness or some elevation of the wound in the first three to six months or so. That's because much of the plastic surgical reconstructions rely on a process called tissue aversion, which is kind of lifting the tissue edges slightly early on, so that as the tissue starts to fall, this thin wound at this top, incision at the top of your wound falls to a very fine line. Now that comes as a shock to patients because often when they leave the surgical table they see this little mound or row where their wound was and they expect to see it just stay flat. We always tell them if we make it look flat on the surgical table as the skin starts to stretch that fine line wound starts to gape and fall like a deep hollow and that's something we try to avoid but it does take months for that to resolve. Other things we tend to see is redness around the surgical excisions, specifically on the scar line which can last up to 12 months and patients also have a certain degree of numbness around the surgical site because of temporary disruption of a lot of the sensory nerves which often recover over the course of about 18 months. Another issue that can be uh, a problem occasionally is wait times for micrographic surgery. Because it's such a specialized and popular treatment, in certain countries there are longer wait times for the surgical treatment than others. All cases when, uh, that are seen in countries where there are surgical wait times are typically triaged to identify specific risks that may require that case to be escalated in its uh, urgency for care. That said, patients often don't see their micrographic surgeon until the time of their treatment. And in those sort of scenarios, if patients have questions about the progression of their cancers or concerns, that needs to be addressed with the referring doctor. Well, in Canada, micrographic surgery is typically covered by uh, your provincial health care plans. In other countries, often the, the coverage for micrographic surgery uh, can be accomplished through extended health care plans, but typically that is uh, dependent on the type of cancer, the extent of surgery required, the facility that it's performed in. But that's something that needs to be discussed with the practitioner prior to initiating micrographic surgery. Mm -hmm.